Okay, let's get productive, let's get useful. This is a dehumidifier. This is a basic cheap version of the dehumidifier for removing humidity from the walls and from the air. This is the very cheap and basic version. Under 5 US dollars, under 5 euros. This is a used water bottle for about 1 euro with water which you can drink about 30 cents of salt under to capture the water and to keep it inside this one and there is some water dripping so it works if we shift it around water will come out Let's see how much water it did harvest throughout the last days. The basic idea is to trap the water in the salt. The salt attracts water. So this is just a sack, like a sock of salt. This is a very basic setup, but the science is very advanced. The salt attracts water from the air. Inside is salt. This is the salt for the washing machine for, for the dishwasher. The basic salt, the fine salt doesn't work because the air cannot enter. This is the, the granular the rock salt, the refined salt for the dishwasher, which costs about one euro for, for this amount of salt. So this is the basic setup. This is the, the very cheap sock, the female nylon sock. Two socks, one sock in the, in the other sock and then you can put salt inside or silica or kitty litter that is very absorbent. And this is about 20 cents of salt. So those are the basic materials and the basic ingredients for the do-it-yourself, do-it-at-home dehumidifier. The nylon sock allows the air and the humidity to enter the salt without any blockage without any resistance is a transparent and very strong nylon sock many people do it with the kitty litter there is a silica version of this the kitty litter version of this the humidifier has an advantage that the Humidity does not exit the, the, the sock or the, what is it called, the silica. The silica traps the, the humidity and then it stays inside. This version has the advantage that you can remove the water. Just like tilt it. and then remove it. The silica one, you will have to replace the silica and keep buying it. The silica one is more expensive than the salt one. So, there's maybe half a liter of water that, that, that got collected within two weeks. So, the advantage of this setup is that you can remove the water 
and start the process all over again. The salt on the bottom is for the increased efficiency because the salt from above attracts the, the humidity, then it drips down through the sink, then the salt on the ground keeps the, the water inside, it, it doesn't allow it to evaporate because it attracts humidity and it stay, it's like hydro, hydro, hydrophobic, hydrophilic, it likes water so it absorbs more and more and then you just put the, the excess water out and restart the process. It's also very cheap to refill unlike the commercial humidifiers. The humidifiers that costs like 10 or 15 euros. So the basic home version is more effective, larger, more interesting to build and you can have 10 of those in every room if you want. This is the basic version and it can be advanced further if you put something into the sole that will allow more air to to, to enter the sock and the, the setup. If more air can enter, then more humidity can be removed from the air. Another option to advance and to increase the efficiency is to, to have a fan blowing, a small fan that will blow air into the, into the salt. So this is the small USB fan. It's very quiet. It's 12 decibel. It's the most advanced fan that currently exists on the planet. It's a 12 DC volt fan running on the 5 volt from the USB, USB plug. It's the very branded name of Be Quiet. It has ridges and waves. So it's more silent, it doesn't create any wind resistance. It's basically without, without any sound. So you can put it in, in the rooms where you sleep or where you want to be very quiet. Pure wings too. See, this is the name. So... The fan helps the air to travel through the through the setup, which increases the efficiency because more humidity can travel through the salt, and the salt extracts the humidity, it drips down. This is the basic idea for the more advanced version. You can have a smaller fan if you kind of put a tube of... There is all possible versions of this but this is the most easy setup that you can just make make up as you want you can do it within I don't know, 15 minutes 20 minutes if you already have the ingredients the the magic trick is the salt from for the dishwasher this is the dishwasher salt dishwasher salt which is larger refined and it works it works just, just fine. For the amount of one euro or one USD you can have it in your local hypermarket or supermarket. The fan itself runs on about five watts of electricity or three watts. This is the, the plug. A cheap three euro or three US dollar plug which consumes about three watt three watts of electricity. Come on. This is a USB one. Then the USB is connected through the cables to the fan. This is a 12 DC fan. It will run faster and more noisy, but with the 5 volt from the USB plug, it runs quieter, more slower and silent, but it still works. And the cables are very easy to connect. 
They're basically just two cables, you cannot mess them up. Just connect them to this PC fan, which is more <laughs> quiet than the usual fans that you can buy in the hardware store. And it's also very available online from Amazon, eBay, whatever you want. Okay, I hope this helps. You can make your own version of this, more advanced, more interesting, more... more creative. <laughs> make a comment if you... if you know any better or more intelligent way so that other people can benefit. Share your knowledge. Spread the good things. And this is the major reason why you want to have a dehumidifier in a room. During the cold time of the year, the humidity can build up on walls and the mold starts growing. Once the mold starts growing, it means that the, there is too much humidity and you have to remove it. And then, this is already the, the cleaned one, so there is no spores. It's disinfected, but you still have to repaint it. It's much easier and much cheaper to have a dehumidifier running for a few months. So the, the mold on the walls is the major reason why you want to have a dehumidifier. Or once you have the mold on the walls, there is a, also a cheaper version and a cheap method to remove the mold. The basic idea is to use the detergent with chlorine, a very concentrated chlorine solution for the floor. It costs about 70 cents for 2 liters or 1 euro, 1 US dollar. This is the cleaning detergent for the floor, but with a lot of chlorine. Not sure how much, but this one has a lot. So and then you put like the triple or the five times amount into a small amount of water. Put your gloves on and have a kitchen towel. And then just soak the kitchen towel in the chlorine solution. Remove the excess water and wipe the, the walls with a semi dry or semi semi moist towel and then repeat it maybe one or two times and then repeat it the next week after this and then the solution of the chlorine kills the, the spores and the mold and once you remove the humidity it stops growing and you resolve the, the problem then you paint the dirty patches of the wall and the problem is solved. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other helpful or interesting comments, say something, be good, help the other people around you. Thank you for supporting the Creative Commons movement and have fun building your own version of this dehumidifier and the room hygiene cleaning method or process whatever you are up to have fun